To become a JP, you don't need any special qualifications or previous legal knowledge. But Scotland does need our justices of the peace to make life-changing decisions every day. Decisions that affect the lives of those who come into contact with the court and ultimately everyone in the community. Full training and support is provided and to help make informed decisions, JPs work very closely with an experienced legal advisor. Legal advisor has to be either a solicitor or an advocate and generally they would have a Scots Law degree. Legal advisor and the Justice of Peace work very closely together. The legal advisor is there in court with the justices at all time and offers support and guidance to them. Um, they give them legal advice on any matters which they may require or which the legal advisor may think would be of assistance to them. Uh, and it's the purpose is to help safeguard against any potential errors with regard to the law. But matters of conviction and sentence are always a matter for the justices themselves. Potential candidates must be able to commit to a minimum of 12 hours training per year and a minimum of 12 sittings a year, although this may fluctuate in some courts based on the level of court business anticipated. JP appointments are for a term of five years with eligibility for reappointment. A JP ceases to hold office on reaching the age of 70. Most importantly, potential candidates must have the right personal qualities. They must be able to act with integrity, impartiality and come to decisions without prejudice and based on fact. JPs should possess the qualities of being able to listen to people. Um, a lot of the work intakes of listening to what goes on in court and taking the detail from that. Um, they should be compassionate and um, I feel th these are two very important qualities that justices must have. Well the justice of the peace requires integrity, sound judgment, very good communication skills and, and possibly most importantly enthusiasm to give something back to the community. Justices are local and members of the community. And, and the people who come before us are also members of that community and may be known to us. It is vital that justices maintain their integrity and impartiality. And if they know someone or could be seen to be influenced, justice must step down from that case.